section number 14, a cylindrical pipe two and a half meters long has an internal diameter of 21 cent millimeters and an external diameter of 35 millimeters. The density of material that makes the, ma the pipe is 1.25 grams per centimeter cube. Calculate the mass of the pipe in kilograms. You take pi to be uh, 22 over 7. Uh, now, uh, we have the pipe here. So maybe it is important that you make a sketch so you can be able to see uh, what is required for you. So let's assume that the pipe, uh, so we have the internal and external diameter. So that's our pipe. Uh, so we need, uh, so it is uh, two, uh, 2.5 meters. Uh, so we have this is a, uh, we can call this is R. So let's call that is R. And the other one we call it the capital R. So to find the, to find the volume, uh, first of all, we know that uh, uh, mass is equal to uh, volume multiplied by density. Uh, so because we have a density is equal to mass over volume. So you cross my prior here to get the mass. So we need to get the volume of this. And the volume of this, uh, because we have a hollow, in, uh, at the in the at the center, we what we need is to get the volume of the material that makes the pipe. And to get the volume, we say uh, it is a volume. So we say volume is a it is equals to uh, pi uh, r squared. That is uh, the volume of uh, the area of the outer circle. Uh, you minus the area of the inner circle, so R squared. Uh, let's, let's correct that, let's correct that. So we have, uh, this is uh, R squared, uh, and you multiply by the height. So since we have been told that the internal diameter is 21 millimeters and uh, uh, the other one, the external is at five uh, millimeters, and since our density is given in terms of centimeters, we need to convert this to uh, to centimeters. So we say uh, that the five millimeters you divide by ten, it is the same as uh, to three point five centimeter, and this is the diameter. So we divide by two. So this implies that the radius of the, the external radius is one point. Uh, we will get uh, that is uh, 1.75 uh, centimeter. The same case applies to the to the inner di di diameter. So it is 2.1 uh, divided by 2 uh, is equals to. This implies that the, the radius, which is uh, we have said we denote by a small r, is 1.05 centimeter. And therefore, we can be able to get the volume. Here you can factor out pi. Uh, you say it is r minus r squared, this is squared, uh, multiplied by height. So this is equal to uh, 22 over 7, that is a pi, you, you into bracket. This will give you 1.75 squared minus the radius, small radius squared, 1.05 squared, across the bracket, and we are multiplying by height. The height is 2.5 meters, so to convert that to centimeters, you multiply by 100, uh, which will give you 250 uh, centimeters, and this will be now be the centimeter cube. Uh, so you can now use your calculator to get the volume, and you get your volume when you use your calculator, it is 15, uh, 40, 1540 centimeter cube using your calculator. Now, you have the volume now, so what we need is the mass, and we have said mass is equal to, we had said mass is equal to the volume times density, so this is uh, 1540 or 1540 uh, multiplied by, this is 1.25, that is the density given here, uh, so you divide by, that is that will give you mass in grams. You divide by 1,000 to 
get uh, into to convert that grams into k kilograms and now you are out to use your calculator uh, you can you get it the 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 mass is 1.9 uh, kilograms so that is how you work out that question and you get yourself four marks uh, so that uh, here you be okay let's say uh, here you get uh, you get one mark for this uh, one mark for this that is one mark uh, once you get that you get another mark here uh, you'll be able to get another mark there for that formula and finally you get a mark for the answer so that's how, how the marks are distributed i hope you have followed how to go about it